Greg Smith Equipment has been warning potential lift buyers for the past decade that all lifts are not created equal. Many USA lift distributors completely overrate their lifts. These distributors buy Chinese lifts that should be rated at a 7,000 pound capacity and advertise them at a 10,000 pound capacity. This lift was purchased from a certain competitor and installed at a lift test facility that has completely tested hundreds of other lift products in the last several decades. This lift was nationally advertised as a 10,000 pound capacity two post base plate lift with symmetric columns and asymmetric arms. This certain competitor continues to advertise this same lift as a 10,000 pound capacity lift. Steel plates are positioned on the arms to mimic the weight distribution of a vehicle as it is being loaded asymmetrically. The initial steel plate has brackets mounted to the bottom to simulate the lifting points of the vehicle. Steel support columns are placed under the arms during the loading process of the steel plates to prevent excessive stress. When loaded with less than 3,800 pounds, the rear arms deflected one and a half inches each and the tops of each columns began to move closer to each other, potentially causing a complete binding of the carriage assemblies. At 10,000 pounds, the rear arms are deflecting three inches. The top of each column has been pulled closer to each other by three inches. The columns are also twisting. The power unit supplied with this lift was not capable of lifting the 10,000 pound rated load. Our test facility needed to implement a completely different power unit to complete this testing. Notice the complete instability of the 10,000 pound load as it is being raised. Real lift industry standards mandate that a 10,000 pound two post lift must be able to lift one and a half times the rated capacity, which in this case would be 15,000 pounds. The complete 15,000 pound load was placed on the arms as the arms were supported by the support columns. Then the 15,000 pound load is slightly raised. Notice everyone backs away from the lift. After a few seconds, the cameraman gets some courage and approaches the lift to document the twisting of the columns. Watch out! Now you have seen it. An absolute, complete failure of a lift. We deleted the expletives. Complete information about this test can be reviewed on our website. The distributor who sold and continues to sell this lift as a 10,000 pound lift is well aware of the complete failure of this lift as it relates to industry lift standards. This distributor continues to overrate his complete line of lifts. Unfortunately, many other internet distributors also overrate their lift capacities. If you want the complete story about all types of above ground lifts, call the professionals at Greg Smith Equipment.